Compassion Pediatrics unveils a new facility, expands services, and creates new jobs. Decided to do a ribbon cutting for our new facility, Compassion Pediatrics. Uh, we're at 484 Tollage Creek. We want people to know that uh, they can get to us still and that we have not closed shop, just moved. The highly anticipated event celebrated the expansion of their services and the creation of nearly 50 new jobs. With a focus on both general pediatrics and mental health, the facility aims to serve over 2,500 children each month, catering to their unique needs in a compassionate and child-friendly environment. I know that I brought my kids uh, yesterday just to see the facility now that it is in a finished product. and. Um, my 16-month-old uh, walked around and stared at every uh, room and all the things hanging from the ceiling and just oohed and awed and did not want to leave. And for me and for my wife, uh, that's exactly what we want it to be like uh, for your family and your children and the children of the mountains. We want this to be a special occasion. We don't want people to dread coming to the pediatrician. Uh, we know some things happen that we don't necessarily love, but this should be a great experience where we come to get healing, uh, help, and um, and and to 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 have uh, to have a good experience. Each room is uniquely themed, creating an environment that children can easily relate to and enjoy. From vibrant, colorful murals to interactive play areas, this design approach aims to make doctor visits a delightful experience rather than a source of anxiety. So what we have done is we've taken general pediatrics, said, "Hey, we're going to continue doing that. We're going to try to continue doing that with excellence." Now we're going to build. Uh, a behavioral health aspect just for pediatrics. We, we have uh, a lot of help for adults in Eastern Kentucky, but just for pediatrics, just for our children, we need an area where they can come in, feel safe, and get the help they need from the standpoint of, of, of behavioral health and mental health. One of my biggest saying when I care for kids is, and especially as adults, they're like, why, does, why do kids need it this young? Well, where do you develop all your coping skills when you're young? <laughs> when you know you're growing up, you learn how to cope, you learn when to cry, when to laugh, how to handle situations. And 95% of your trauma that happens, whether it's emotional, anything, it happens when you're a child. It has long been recognized that dedicated facilities for children's mental health are scarce. And the inclusion of such services in this new location signifies a significant step forward. This is just... This is something we could uh, only uh, dream about and, and hope for. And due to so many people supporting us uh, and such sacrifice and hard work from my family, we've been able to uh, create, um, you know, a business here that's been, been able to do the things that, that we had only, again, hoped and dreamed of. Reporting from Mountain Top News, I'm Ethan Miller.